Monday evening meditation, first week after Pentecost, May 31st, 2021. Meditations are taken from Meditations and Readings for Every Day of the Year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. First choice as teacher in moral theology. Act of faith in the presence of God, in nomina patria fili, the spirit du sancti, man most holy, adorable, and undivided trinity, one God in three persons. I believe that thou art here present. I adore thee with the deepest humility, and render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thy sovereign majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth, O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and my mother. I ask for the grace to continue to pray. St. Alphonsus de Liguori, pray for us. Christian soul, reflect on these every day of your life. There is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for. Saints and angels to call upon, one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer, one hell to avoid, one judgment to confront, one Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, passions to subject to our will, virtues to acquire, one heaven to win, act of humility, litany of humility. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, Deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being culminated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being wronged. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being suspected. Deliver me, Jesus, that others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask for your guidance in this our evening meditation. Through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary, ever Virgin, Ave Maria, gratia upon a Dominus Tecum, Benedicta tu in Malieribus, Benedictus fructus ventris tui Jesus, Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, Nuc in hora mortis nostre. Amen. In honor of Saint Joseph, our guardian angel, and all the saints, we pray Gloria Patria Filio, Spiritus Sancta. Secret Eric and Principio, Nuca Semper, and Secula, Seculorum, Amen. Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful, kindle them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and it shall be created. Shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Ghost, grant in that same spirit that we may be truly wise, ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. Evening Meditation, the Practice of the Love of Jesus Christ. 18. He that loves Jesus Christ is not vain of his own worth, but humbles himself and is glad to be humbled. It was the saying of St. Teresa, quote, Think not that though thou think, so I'm sorry, think not that thou has advanced far in perfection till thou considerest thyself the worst of all and desirous to be placed below all, unquote. 
And on this maxim, the saint acted. And so have done all the saints. St. Francis of Assisi, St. Mary Magdalene de Pazzi, and the rest consider themselves the greatest sinners in the world and were surprised that the earth sheltered them and did not rather open under their feet to swallow them up alive. And they expressed themselves to this effect with the sincerest conviction. The Blessed John of Avila, who from his earliest infancy had led a holy life, was on his deathbed, and the priest who came to attend him said many sublime things to him, taking him for what indeed he was, a great servant of God and a learned man. But Father Avila thus spoke to him, quote, Father, I pray you to make the recommendation of my soul as of a criminal condemned to death, for such I am. Unquote. This is the opinion which the saints entertained of themselves in life and death. We too must act in this manner. It would <clears throat> if we would save our souls and keep ourselves in the grace of God till death, reposing all our confidence in God alone. The proud man relies on his own strength and falls on that account. But the humble man, by placing all his trust in God alone, stands firm and falls not, however violent and multiplied the temptations may be. For his watchword is, quote, I can do all things in him that strengtheneth me. Philippians 4, 13. The devil at one time tempts us to presumption and another time to diffidence. Whenever he suggests to us that we are in no danger of falling, then we should tremble the more. For were God but for an instant to withdraw his grace from us, we are lost. When again he tempts us to diffidence, then let us turn to God and thus address him with great confidence. Quote, in thee, O Lord, have I hoped. I shall never be confounded. Psalm 30, verse 2. My God, in thee I have put all my hopes. I hope never to meet with confusion, nor to be bereft of thy grace. We ought to exercise ourselves continually, even to the very last moment of our life, in these acts of diffidence in ourselves and confidence in God, always beseeching God to grant us humility. Concluding prayer, I give you thanks, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, for the light which thou now bestowest upon me. I make a firm purpose of my will that I may, in uniformity with your divine will, O triune God, keep my resolutions and keep them well. For the love of thee and thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that through her intercession I may receive by her loving hands the grace to be ever faithful to my resolutions, my state in life, and rule of life, now until the hour of my death. I give thee thanks, O God, for the patience with which thou hast hitherto borne with me. I see that, although I forgot thee, thou didst not forget me. I am sorry, my sovereign good, for having turned my back upon thee. And I now resolve to give myself entirely to thee. And why should I delay that thou mayest abandon me? and that death may find me as miserable and ungrateful as I've been even until now. No, my God, I will no more offend thee, but will love thee. O oh, infinite goodness, I love thee. Give me perseverance in thy holy love. I ask for nothing more. Mary, refuge of sinners, intercede for all the holy souls in purgatory, and for all poor sinners, particularly myself. In nomen de patria fili, et spiritu sancti, Amen. Have a blessed evening, O slaves of Mary.